In this video, you will learn how to use alternative payment methods with Salesforce billing. You might be saying to yourself, what does this dude mean by alternative payment methods? There are things like gift cards, digital wallets, bartering, gold bullion, rare coins, pay by cell phone bill, and cryptocurrencies. Effectively, if it isn't cash, card, or bank account, it's an alternative payment method, which is also known by the acronym APM. Hey, Charging fans, we have assembled the top 10 ways that we think you can improve your payments today. To get this valuable resource, just go in the description of this video and click the link. So there are varying uptakes on all of these different payment types. The reality is they're really, they're pretty niche right now. Uh, but we like to keep an eye on them here at Chargent. That way, when you're ready, we're here to help. Digital wallets. I think this one's pretty interesting. Some of the digital wallets out there are like Zelle, Skrill, Venmo, and PayPal Express. And at Chargent, we've actually had a lot of customers ask us about PayPal Express, and we'd love to implement it. We're actively working with PayPal, they are a big partner of ours, and we're working to find a way to do it inside of Salesforce. The truth is, it's kind of challenging to do completely inside of the Salesforce environment. And personally, I found myself using PayPal Express a lot more. It just makes sense for a quick checkout. And then there's Venmo. So you might know that the younger generations, the millennials and Generation Z, these folks are very used to paying with Venmo. It's super common. You know, I'm a Zennial and uh, I use Venmo with most of my friends. When we exchange money, it pretty much happens exclusively on Venmo these days. And because of this trend, it makes a lot of sense for retail organizations to consider being able to take payment from Venmo. At Chargent, we believe that digital wallets, they're good models when you're working with e-commerce, customer communities, or invoice payments. And because at the end of the day, our goal, and I think your goal, should be to remove any friction inside of the payment process. So here at Chargent, we're payment method agnostic. If you've watched my other videos, you've heard me talk about us also being payment gateway and payment processor agnostic. Well, again, we are payment method agnostic also. We want you to take payment in the way that it makes sense for your organization and more importantly for your customers. So let's say that you've decided you're gonna take one of these alternative payment methods inside of Salesforce billing. How do you do it exactly? Well, the reality is it's just kind of like we talked about with that analog payment video, if you've watched that one. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, you simply need to create those Salesforce billing payment and the payment allocation records. And those records, they tie back to your invoices in Salesforce billing and that's pretty much it, it's fairly straightforward. If you're using one of the other alternative payment methods, really anything that's got a reporting functionality, you can download a report, then you're gonna go ahead and download that report and then put it into Salesforce using something like the Salesforce billing lockbox function. This is really something you can use to automate that process. So these are just some of the ways that you could take alternative payments inside of Salesforce billing. Got questions? Light up the comments below. You like what you're learning, then check out this video here to learn more. Remember at Chargent, we are always here to help.